the deadlift. One of the purest tests of strength and a specialty of two-time defending Arnold Strongman Classic champion, Hafthor Bjornsson. The competition picks up next. Our celebration of strong continues today in Columbus, Ohio, where some of the world's biggest and best athletes will redefine what is possible and push the limits of the human body at an event named for a man synonymous with strength. This is the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic, and inside the Greater Columbus Convention Center, the bar is about to be raised again. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Rogue Iron Game desk. Alongside Dr. Bill Crawford, I'm Sam Farber. It is a pleasure and a privilege to have you with us here today. Well, Bill, the first day of competition, a lot of excitement. Hathor Bjornsson coming in as the two-time defending champ. A lot of expectations for him in 2020, but he has had his achievements matched and maybe exceeded by one of his fellow competitors. Mateusz needs to continue this pace to stay ahead and win. It's been a back and forth battle all competition. Afdor Bjornsson had a clean run and set the time to beat in event one, but Mateusz Kieliszkowski answered the challenge, topping the mountain's time by two seconds for the event win. Kieliszkowski moving to save the new wow. time to beat. Wow. Event two was bag over bar and that belonged to the mountain. Afdor Bjornsson is the world record holder in the event, and he showed why taking the win. 90 pounds, he's got it. Wow, nobody's better in the world at this than Afdor Bjornsson. But in event three, Mateusz Kieliszkowski pushed his way back in front. He beat the competition by a full 10 feet for his second event win of the competition. He's only 20 seconds in, and he's already passing people. There he goes. He's got it. 112 feet. That's a great performance. Wow. So Poland's Mateusz Kieliszkowski is your overall leader at the midway mark. Hafthor Bjornsson only a half point behind, and last year's runner-up, Martins Lietze, sits in third. Hafthor Bjornsson, the heavy favorite in the next event, the deadlift. Kiki Dixon caught up with him in the warm-up area to see how he's feeling. Hathor, you're just half a point behind first place position. How do you plan on closing the gap and then maintaining it over the three events? I gotta come in ready, perform well. You know, this is my event, deadlift next up. Uh, I'm gonna do what I do best, get my 10 points. And uh, from there, we we're, we're, we're still, you know, have to do some work. So I have to perform well in the frame kit and then the shear temple in the evening. Thank you, Kiki. All right, Bill, you heard Hathor. The next event belongs to him. It's the Rogue Elephant Bar deadlift. Competitors get three attempts. The heaviest lift wins. And this one is always a crowd favorite. This is a signature event in Strongman. This is red meat for Strongman fans because it's just heavyweight on the bar, highest weight wins, lift it. While this is a signature event for Hafthor Bjornsson, that's not the case for overall leader Mateusz Kieliszkowski. He struggled here in the past, so he wants to do some damage control. Correct, and he, like you said, he wants to do damage control. He wants somebody to stumble a little bit, or maybe he has a really good day and stays close to the top five. If he's within five points, things can happen. Kieliszkowski will step up to the bar with 821 pounds in front of him, and it looks like he's not alone. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself is here and taking a selfie with the man leading the competition that bears his name. See Arnold right in front of Mateusz Kieliszkowski. Let's see if the governor has any words of encouragement. 821 pounds. Very impressive. Great lift. Seems there is plenty of meat left on that bone as well for him. Start up a little slowly there to get the flex out of the bar. Just got it to his knees and pulls back. Standing up with it. Good lift. Next is nine-time Canada's strongest man, J.F. Carone. Carone starting the day in fifth place, and he is 
even with his best performance and Kieliszkowski's worst performance, could not catch him in this individual event, but he can certainly make up a lot of the distance. He also wants to keep this going and finish the competition strong, so just like Hathor, he's, he's measuring up the competition. First attempt at 891 pounds. And making it look easy. Wow. I don't think I could lift a broomstick that quickly. <laughs> that was quite a lift. Hips down, gets the flex off the bottom, stands up with it. Very easy lift. JF Caron, the new leader in the clubhouse with 891 pounds. Next up, it's going to be Mikhail Shivlikov, the Siberian force. He's been a real inspiration throughout this competition. He's dealing with an ankle sprain. You would think it impossible for him to compete at this level, but back over bar, he took second, essentially on one foot. Wheel of pain, it didn't look like he intended to try. He had to put his hands on the wheel or he'd be disqualified from the competition. Started pushing and ended up going a good 40 feet again on one leg. He's heavily taped up out there today. And he's gonna start this deadlift at 901 pounds. He's a professional. This is the highlight of his year. He's going to do what has to happen to stay in this competition. Nine hundred one pounds. Very routine lift. So as a static lift, he was able to not have the ankle do too much. Takes the flex out of the bar, gets it to his knees and pulls back. You can tell he's very ginger, a heavily taped ankle. He's happy to get that lift and stay in this competition. Shivlikov with the fist bump of approval from Arnold. That leads us to our next competitor, Martins Litsis, the Dragon, currently in third. He needs a big event here if he wants to stay in contention. I'll, I'll be really honest with you. I'd like, I, I can't wait to see this first lift because this is going to set a pace. If he has a really strong pull, but the other athletes maybe not starting as high as I thought they would. He could actually end up placing the top three in this event. First attempt, 906 pounds, controlling the bar very nicely. Good lift, very methodical. He had to put a extra gear to get that weight off the, off the ground. It didn't look particularly easy, but it was a very smooth lift overall. Halfway through the opening lifts and big weights are already starting to go up. The mountain looms on the other side of this break. More from the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic coming up next. The 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports is sponsored by Theragun. Change the way you move. Go Ruck, founded by a Green Beret. Go Ruck is an American brand with special forces roots. And by road, don't weaken. Welcome back to the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic presented by Road. We are in the Columbus Convention Center for event for the Elephant Bar Deadlift. Halfway through the first round, let's see some more of the competition. Alexei Novikov, fifth overall entering day two, lifted 821 pounds. Jerry Pridgett, one of the favorites in this event, hit 906 pounds. And Bobby Thompson continues to enjoy a solid rookie campaign, successful at 911 pounds. The next opening lift is above and beyond what anyone else has posted so far. It belongs to Hafthor Bjornsson, the mountain, and he will start at 961 pounds. Hafthor's had fantastic training. I really expect this to be very, very routine for him. Six feet, nine inches tall, 440 pounds. Half Thor Bjornsson. First lift, 961 pounds. He's going to roll the bar back. That's, that's his technique. Wow. <laughs> that was great was seemingly slow and deliberate at the knees and then just stood up. You know, he's really just made a statement. He said, you know, I'm starting higher than anybody else. This was just easier for me than anybody else's opener. Okay, boys, come and get me. Afthor, your new event leader, 961 pounds. 
Next up is our overall leader, Mateusz Kieliszkowski. 886 pounds is what he is going to jump to. This would be a really strong lift for him. If he gets close to 900 or over 900, that means he's, he doesn't let Hafthor get too far away from him from what we've seen so far. This will give him a couple more placements. Every point counts. He's got two event wins already under his belt. And he lifted at 886. There you go, got it to his knees. He can finish it, that bar is flexing, but he's controlling it. Oh, his strap broke. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is frustrating. That is frustrating. Great lift, it looked like he was gonna complete it. Oh, that is a really tough break. He's pushing his feet down, he gets it to his knees. Is really moving on him back and forth, it's fighting the bar. Oh, strap broke. Great effort, though. I really felt he was going to finish that lift, and that would have gone a long way. That is event director Jan Todd explaining even though his equipment malfunction, it will still count as a missed lift. Next up is going to be Mikhail Shivlikov, Siberian force, successful at 9.01 on his first attempt. He will jump to 9.41. The 40 pound jump's a very healthy jump. He always comes and gives everything he's got. So even with this injury, I think he's performed unbelievably well. He's a podium finisher in the past at the Arnold Classic. This athlete has a lot of pride. He'll be attempting 941 pounds. Hips down, good start. He's got it to his knees, keep coming. Yeah. Great lift. Very strong. Mikhail Shivlyakov. 941 second heaviest lift of the competition. So strong, phenomenal. Mikhail Shivlikov, the Siberian force, absolutely amazing what he's been able to do. Certainly not at full strength, but giving more than full effort. Next up will be J.F. Caron, jumping from 891 to 956. So this will be the largest jump thus far in the competition even attempted. 2018, he finished second in the elephant bar at deadlift, pulling 1,021 pounds. He's been over 1,000 pounds, he's in that club. Marone ready to attempt, 956 pounds. Very smooth, very nice. Canadian strong, wow. He's got a thousand pounds in him, I'm certain. He had no hitching whatsoever, took the flex out of the bar, got over his knees so quickly he didn't have to reset at all. He just stood right up with it. Carone happy with that one. He sits in second place. We're halfway through the Rogue Elephant Bar deadlift and we are anxiously awaiting our first thousand pound lift. The mountain might provide it when we return to Columbus, Ohio and the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. Do you know if I had to pick one event? Yeah, probably the elephant bar deadlift. I'm really excited about the deadlift. That is something that's really been going well for me over the past few months. Looking to have a big PR. I've been chasing a 1,000 pound deadlift this year. I think that's a realistic goal. I think I can get relatively close. People now, you know, talk about 500 kilo deadlift like it's normal. I remember when the world record was 900 pounds. Now 900, you're them at the level. Welcome back to continuing coverage of the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. We're inside the Columbus Convention Center for event four, the Rogue Elephant Bar Deadlift. So next up is gonna be Bobby Thompson, and he will be going at 926 pounds. Uh, they were taking a look there at the bar just to make sure everything was still level after the, that strap breaking. Everything appears to be okay, so Bobby Thompson will step up. His first attempt was at 911 pounds, was the third heaviest opening lift. Not a huge jump in terms of weight compared to what we've seen from our first two men on their second attempt, but the first two men weren't successful. That's true. So he's, he's kind of playing a little bit safe. He wants to get a good number here. He knows that uh, he's gaining a lot of valuable experience. And he, his first pull was fantastic. I, I really expect to see him make a good run on this, if not 
just outright complete it. This would put him in second overall in this event. Of course, a lot of lifting left to go. Bobby Thompson. Wow. That's a great lift. That's really strong. He's looking around. He's just soaking that up. First time here, he's loving this. Bobby Thompson successful at 926 pounds. He continues to impress here in his rookie campaign. Now, prior to Thompson's lift, two other strongmen had less successful attempts. Another rookie American, Rob Kearney, went for 961 pounds, but just was not able to get it past his knees. And there was a surprising miss from veteran Jerry Pritchett at 981 pounds. Got it to his knees, pull back, pull back. That is actually shocking. Up next is Martins Leitzis, currently third overall in the standings, and this is a huge lift for his competition. He's got 961 pounds on the bar. If he makes it, he'd move to second in the event. That would be huge for him in the overall standings. If he gets this weight, his best here, I believe, is 950 pounds. This keeps half door in striking distance, and it also puts more distance between he and Mateus. Hips down, gets the ball. Oh. Just not there. That was successful at 961. Wow, that was surprising, actually. It looks like he knew right away he didn't have it, couldn't break it off the floor, so no go at 961. Next up, the man everyone wants to see, Hafthor Bjornsson. He's already leading the event, and this is basically to put it out of reach. He's got 1,026 pounds. And you can see as he's, as he's warming up, he was walking past those normal-sized humans. I mean, his legs are just absolutely massive. He's mythic in the way he's built. It's unbelievable. He's asking for his family and friends to get there behind him here. 1,026, a huge statement. Come on, Hathor, let's see this. That's well within striking distance for a big third attempt. Let's see how well this goes for him. No shoes. He's just coming out and going at it. Here he goes. Come on, Hafthor. Takes the flex out of the bar, gets to his knees. Wow, routine. That is unbelievable. 1,026 wow. pounds. Hafthor Bjornsson. <laughs> this is his to lose. Controls the flex, gets it to his knees, and finishes. No double clutching there. He put a little bit of effort into that one, but it was not overly difficult. It's obvious he's got a lot more in the tank. Easily in first, he's lifted 70 pounds more than the next best successful lift. The mountain goes over 1,000 pounds, but there's still more at stake. The current overall leader will fight to gain back points when the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic returns. The 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports is sponsored by Theragun. Change the way you move. Go Run. Founded by a Green Beret, GORUCK is an American brand with special forces roots. And by Rogue, don't weaken. Welcome back to the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. Here inside the Rogue Arena, we are in the final phases of event four, the Elephant Bar Deadlift. Mateusz Kieliszkowski about to make one of the most important lifts of his competition. He's currently in first overall, but is in last in the event. This lift, if successful, would push him to eighth. Bill, how much of this is about podium points and how much is just him looking for a mental win? Well, mentally, he wants to continue to advance as a strongman. He's pushing himself, and that's, that's what you have to do as a strongman. He wants to get a personal best. This, was, this would be a terrific personal best for him on this bar at this competition. One trial by Stone. He won the Wheel of Pain. Looking for a personal best here on the Elephant Bar deadlift. 886. Pull, pull, get it to his knees. Come on. Okay. Keep fighting it. Control it. Control it. Can he do it? That bar's fighting moving. Fighting away. Yes. Kielischkowski. Wow. And see, that is exactly what he was trying to do. He did complete the lift, and you see how much that meant to him after the lift. And that means that he's making improvement on the deadlift. 
takes the flex out of the bar and just gets it to the knees and keeps fighting it. Pulling back, controlling that flex. Didn't allow the flex to get out of control like it did before, rocking back and forth. Just completes the lift. Fantastic. Great effort, great effort. I'd give him an A so far of all the other efforts we've seen in this competition on the deadlift. So a great finish for Mateusz Kieliszkowski. Personal record of 886 pounds. That's good for eighth in the event. Afthor Bjornsson has just informed event officials that he is done. He's already won the event, so he'll skip his third and final attempt. Only man to go over 1,000 pounds today. He takes first place, takes 10 points, and now he's got a sizable gap between himself and the rest of the field. Your new overall leader standing by with Kiki Dixon. Half Thor, you just lifted an incredible amount of weight. How on earth does that feel? Feels great. You know, I'm super pleased, super happy. I was able to um, perform super well, only do two lifts, save a little bit of en 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 energy, so I'm, you know, beyond happy. The Mountain has reason to be happy after that performance. His second event win of the weekend, he now holds the largest overall lead of the competition. Six and a half points up on Mateusz Kieliszkowski, who is in sole control of second. Then there's a big battle brewing for the final podium position. J.F. Carone, Martins Litsis, and Rob Kearney all separated by just two points. There's only two events remaining. The Mountain in control of the competition and his third consecutive Arnold Strongman Classic title. But Mateusz Kieliszkowski is not out of it yet. Up next, it's the Timber Carry, an 881-pound drag race that has the potential to turn the competition on its head. For Dr. Bill Crawford and Kiki Dixon, I'm Sam Farber. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, 24-hour home of CBS Sports.